Okay, class, we're going to continue on page 113. The teacher said that we were continue on page 113, reported speech. Okay, look. Answer the question so that the answers are true for you. Uh huh. It says, What did you do last weekend? For example, me, I visited my mom in Mala. I visited my mom, okay? B, which good movies have you seen recently? Okay, which good movie? I don't remember. Well, I haven't gone to the movies, but on TV, I don't know. Okay, the Terminator. Okay, well, I'm, well, I haven't, I, I have seen it. Oof, but it was a Terminator. I saw Terminator. No, sorry. I have seen Terminator. What do you usually do in your free time? Well, I usually relax. Okay, I usually relax. Where did you go on your last vacation? On my last vacation, I traveled to Trujillo. I traveled. Okay, I traveled to Trujillo. Letter E. What are you going to do on on the weekends? I am going to spend time with my family. I am going to spend time with my family. Okay? Look. Now you are going to do the same activity. Try to answer me. Okay? With your own ideas. Interface. Work in pairs. Ask and answer questions in activity 4. Then report back to the class. So. You are going to report. Maybe I can do this, this, this activity and you report what I say. Okay? Could be a possibility. Now, here in number six, we have a time expression in reported speech. For example, look at examples in the box. Then choose the correct time expression to complete the sentences. For example, you say, I play soccer today. In a reported speech, you say, that day. Okay, this is going to be useful. Tomorrow, I will uh, travel to Lima tomorrow. I will travel to Lima the day after or the day following, okay, the following day. Yesterday, the day before or the previous day. Next week, the week after or the following week. Last week, the week before or the previous uh, week. Two years ago, two years before. This, this year, that year, okay? This time expression in reported speech is going to be very, very, very useful, so practice, okay? Now, let's see. Here, for example, says, Jan said that uh, she had been to a music festival last week or the previous week. Of course, the previous week is a reported speech. Teacher, how do I identify reported speech? Because you use the verb said. The teacher said. Joan said. Uh, Fatima said. Juan said. That is reported speech. She said that she had bought tickets the previous month, last month. Of course, the previous month. She told us that she had seen the Arctic monkeys. Uh, she told us that she had seen the Arctic Monkeys yesterday or the day before? The day before. Uh -huh. She said that the festival finished the following day or tomorrow. Yes, a ver, a ver, a ver, let me see. The following day. Perfect. She told us that it was the second festival she had been to this year. Or that year, this year, this year, this year, ah, this year, that year, and that's it. So, this is going to be useful, okay, in this part, okay, in reported speech, no direct speech. In direct speech, you use normal, what you always say, no, today, tomorrow, yesterday, next week, no, that is for uh, this part, no, direct speech. Reported speech, ah, for reported speech. Listening robot competition. Look at the picture and the words in the box. What do you think the report is about? Robot competition. 
put out fire heat sensor infrared light now look at the picture and the words now the picture there are people and i mean two robots what could it be no what do you think the report is about there is nothing okay no there is no text no no conversation it's an audio could be a robot festival yeah. could be a robot fighting could be let's see we're going to listen okay listen to the first part of the uh, of the report and check your answers let's see unit 7 track 64 activity 2 I'm here today at an international competition in the town of Hartford, Connecticut, in America. It's one of the biggest competitions of its kind. Teams from... Okay, I'm going to repeat. Pay attention. Two. I'm here today at an international competition in the town of Hartford, Connecticut, in America. It's one of the biggest competitions of its kind. Teams from all over compete with their homemade robots. This year, the winners were teams from China and Israel. Robots compete at different levels, from robots designed by 14-year-olds to robots invented by experts. The robots have to navigate through a model maze, find a fire, and put the fire out. It's an international competition about robots. Okay, robot competition, but international competition. Now, Listen to the whole report and write true or false. The robots don't have to put out the real fire. None of the robots successfully put out the fire. Let's see. Unit 7, track 65, activity 3. I'm here today at an international competition in the town of Hartford, Connecticut in America. It's one of the biggest competitions of its kind. Teams from all over compete with their homemade robots. This year, the winners were teams from China and Israel. Robots compete at different levels, from robots designed by 14-year-olds to robots invented by experts. The robots have to navigate through a model maze, find a fire, and put the fire out. So how do the robots do it? Well, they use infrared lights to locate obstacles such as walls or things on the ground. And they use heat sensors to detect the fire. In this case, the fire is actually a candle. And do the robots actually manage to put out the fires? Well, the answer is yes. The organizer of the contest is David Algren. He said that the aim of the competition is to make robots that can put out a fire in the shortest amount of time. However, he said that he hoped that someone would develop a robot that could be put in every home to fight fires and save lives. Many of the participants want to be inventors or study engineering, and they enjoy the challenge. Excuse me, could I ask you a question? Sure. What's your name, how old are you, and why did you take part in the competition? I'm Kyle, and I'm 14 years old. I've wanted to be an inventor all my life, and I love robots. And it would be really cool to invent something that saves people's lives. And what about you? My name is Andrea, and I'm 17 years old. I want to study engineering, and this is a really fun project. I'm disappointed I didn't win this year because my robot stopped working. It had a mechanical problem. So there you have it. This year's competition has finished. But why not think about taking part in the competition next year? Okay, this was the audio, no, the whole report. So, activity number three and activity number four, we're going to do this in class. Thank you so much. Get ready and good luck. Bye-bye.